Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we want to show you how to measure impulse parameters for diodes, uh, for laser diode Nichia NUBM44 or 47. We want to run this uh, diode in impulsive mode. So the laser is installed here uh, in our heatsink. Here is a calorimeter. So we want we remove the lens already. So we want to make sure that it goes directly here. We have endurance MO2 PC board. We have our standard DC DC converter. We have an amplifier and a chip for changing uh, impulse uh, duration. So uh, and oscillograph. So we want to start uh, tests showing um, voltage and current parameters for this laser diode. Uh, with a frequency 250 Hertz and duration of impulse 500 microseconds. So it's 0 0.5 millisecond. Okay, uh, Ilya, let's start. So uh, let me zoom it in so you can see it clearly. So we have a voltage 5 volts, yes, 5 volts, and the uh, current is. HT volt. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's uh, four volts, and uh, current is uh, one point two amps. Okay, and you can see that uh, the laser uh, is running. So it's zero point three uh, something <laughs> calories in calorimeter. So uh, I assume it's something like uh, zero point three. Uh, watts and duration is uh, uh, five, 500 uh, microseconds so if you multiply on 10 because uh, we have a due to ratio can you show us a due to ratio 10 percent okay uh, we can actually show it so you see the due to ratio of a signal is 10 percent so uh, in average you can see that it's something like 3.5 watts if you uh, multiply these parameters 0 0.3 on 10 so you'll get 3.5 watt power uh, laser okay uh, let's uh, let's increase uh, current and you'll see that uh, laser power will also increase Okay, you see that laser power is in increasing at the same time. It's very interesting that even in 10% duration, uh, du sorry, duty ratio, the laser is not blinking. So it works like a continuous power. However, it should uh, turn on and off every uh, every 250. Uh, yeah, one divided on 250 uh, seconds as we measure frequency. Okay, now we have four four point five volts and five amps. So you see that the signal uh, is not flat; it's a little bit curved because of uh, DC DC, this guy. And we we see the power is closer to one watt. So in this in this case, we can we can say that the uh, laser power is average one watt right now because we we measure it uh, like in CV mode. But uh, if you take one impulse, you have it like 10 watts already for this uh, for this laser. Uh, it's just a question why people think that if you increase the laser power, you get uh, if you increase uh, voltage and current, you increase laser power. Okay, let's increase. Uh, uh, to 5 volts and 6 amps okay you see the power of the laser is also growing so we, now we have four, uh, 5 volts and yes 5 volts uh, 4.9 volts and 6 amps the maximum we want to show you is 5 volts and 7 amps. Let's increase the power. So 
you can only run the laser in these short impulses with this uh, laser power do not do it in CV mode because that might kill your diode so it can work in these impulses um, like I said if we do zoom in here you see that the laser is not blinking so it looks like it's CV it's continuous but in fact it should it should blink and uh, should change so right now we have 5 volts 5 volts and closer to 7 amps and we have 1.2 watt with a duty ratio of 10% so right now if you divide uh, this duty ratio on the actual power you'll see probably like 12 watts of the laser diode power so that's our measurement uh, we actually plan to do it with uh, more accurate data so we want to add photoelectric effect so we want to add photo uh, diode so to be able to measure exact power in exact impulse because now we measure it like in average so this is showing like an average power uh, we want to see it actual to every single uh, every single uh, period every single uh, part of the time frame so uh, we plan to make uh, a photoelectric device uh, for, with photodiode and then to show you more accurate measurements but now you can definitely see that in these parameters uh, Nichia light laser diodes they are working more than 10 watt uh, power if you just divide uh, average power on a duty ratio so, like I said, in average you have 1.2 watt, watts, but uh, uh, in in peak it's uh, 12 watt, watts. It's just a math equation. So, hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, please email to us. Like I said, this is uh, an initial video, and we plan to improve it with more accurate data. Uh, like I said, with photoelectric effect. So, stay tuned and enjoy, enjoy endurance lasers. Bye-bye.